Hello? Connor. Hello? Oh shit, I'm still in This is This is over this Am I still in TeamSpeak on Discord? Yes. Holy sh What is going everybody and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today we're going from Washington Dulles International Airport to Detroit Metro. It's approximately a one hour flight turnover so it's not too long. We are using the VATSIM network unfortunately again as usual there is no controllers in range and just when I loaded in the airport they left so that is great. We are using the United Airlines livery. This is the gold version. I decided to change it up a bit and use the gold. And my god, does this thing look beautiful. It is so incredible. I absolutely love it. We're going to go ahead and do a pre-flight checklist. Starting off underneath with our tires. They're looking pretty nice. The APU is connected up. Uh, and Sorry, yeah, the auxiliary power unit is connected up. Uh, we'll go around and check the uh, engines here. They're looking mighty fine as well. Coming around over the outer edges of the wing. They're looking pretty good. Not too bad. Oh, uh, this, I think, I think this is the latest update to Microsoft Flight Simulator, I believe. There was an issue previously where it wasn't working properly with multiplayer. It was kind of causing a lot of frame rate issues and stuff that a lot of users had experienced, but they produced a fix to that. So hopefully uh, it should be working smoothly. In, in today's flight, I'm going to do a full, in-depth, cold and dark tutorial uh, to give you an insight to those who are starting Microsoft Flight Simulator and actually just wanting to use the Airbus A320 like myself. All my videos going forward would basically just be this aircraft. I absolutely love this aircraft. I'm an A320, you could say, fan. I absolutely love it. And this channel, I'm sorry, is predominantly going to be A320 orientated or Airbus oriented. We might do a cool, fun episodes and stuff, mucking around with other flight, other aircrafts and stuff. I got a few friends that are keen in getting into Microsoft Flight Simulator, so we'll probably just do a few fun videos with them as well. But predominantly, A320 is what I'm going to be kicking off. So I thought, why not with this flight, since it's an hour flight, we can push it out a little bit longer and we can get in here and show you how to do a full cold and dark state. We're going to jump into the cockpit. As you can see, I do have the uh, computer turned on here. I was just getting that set up, so we are good to go. The first thing you want to do is when you get into an Airbus A320 is familiarize yourself with the layout. The layout I find is quite straightforward. In fact, it is the most convenient and easy layout uh, of an airliner. To those that are boring uh, fanatics, I guess that's a bit different for you. Nonetheless, it is quite straightforward. On the left hand side, as you can see, we have a tablet, which is what we can use. Uh, on this uh, A3 A321X is the model that we're using, the A321X uh, by fly by wire. Uh, solutions the link to this aircraft will of course be in the description below for you to check out uh, pretty much we have full control over your doors and stuff here and the tug which is a pretty nifty feature C company that's obviously you can connect to your sim brief so obviously i got my sim brief account connected there and you can get your dashboard so you've actually got your full flight plan calculated and placed in there and you can link it to your mac do so that's already synced up coming down from that obviously uh, Airbus A320s are a bit different. They use the fly-by-wire system, and in case um, you didn't know, uh, it only requires very minor adjustments and in inputs um, through all your control services. As you can see, it is pretty much just a joystick. <laughs> That's how you fly it, which is uh, very different to those in a Cessna or a Boeing where you have your yoke. Um, it is literally a left-hand side joystick. You've got your PFD displays, um, all your autopilot controls, and further um, landing gear controls, modules, and all of that here, auto brake setups. Coming down, you have your MacDo, which is your mobile d data, uh, some or other, anyway, <laughs> moving on from that. Um, you have your engine mode selectors, engine master switches, all your engine controls, auto controls, and then your overhead panel, where we are going to start off right now. So you want to make sure that everything else is set up good to go. That landing gear is in the down position. Coming down from that, you want to check your engine mode, engine master switches, are in the norm and you're in the off position and that your flaps are fully retracted and your ground spoilers are retracted and not armed. Coming up from that, you want to go up to your overhead panel. You just want to make sure that uh, all your winds window wipers, window wipers, windscreen wipers are in the off position. Moving on, we're going to go ahead and start up BATS 1 and 2. 
And you can see an external power is available with the green light that is illuminated. We can go ahead and check that. All right, as you can see, everything is starting to come alive now. And uh, basically from here, it's a matter of just adjusting your brightness screens and stuff to make them nice and bright on your PFDs so that you can see uh, everything. We're going to make that nice and bright for us here. That is looking very good. We're going to do it down to our ecam settings as well. Make them nice and bright. Turn up all of our MacDo. I like to make sure that we have lights and stuff are as bright as possible and that you're happy with how it's all set up. Um, and then from there, we can continue on. Starting on the top left, we have our ADARs. We select this to the nap position. It's going to say on battery. And then it's going to go a click across. And that's all turned on. Coming down, LAC 1 and 2 and uh, LAC 1, SEC 1 and FAC 1. Uh, we just keep as default. We don't need to adjust any of that. A cabin crew supplies, so we can go ahead and turn off. And uh, the fuel pumps will go ahead and keep on at the keep off at the moment. We don't need to utilize them at this current time. So as, I said, as I said, external power is available. Have a local lights. We'll go ahead and switch on. Seabell signs. We go ahead and turn on as well. Emergency exit lights. We go ahead and arm those as well. A engine one, engine two, and APU fire test if we necessarily need to do that. Press the button down. And it activates the test phase. Like so. That is all good to go. We are happy with that. The pack's turned on. We're going to go and check our inner page. That is fine. We're going to get our cost index. So we're going to come over and check our cost index, which for today's flight, we're going to go over to the top here. It is going to be a cost index of 53. So we're going to go ahead and insert a cost index of 53 here. 53. Insert our flight level is 320. We go to IRS, IRS and then we're going to align that. Confirm alignment, and we're going to go back to the return function. And normally in X plane, you have your wins and you insert your wins manually, but there's nothing, no need for that. Um, we can't do that, in fact. Uh, we're going to get our alternate, which is Kilo, Oscar, Romeo, Delta. We're going to insert that as our, our alternate airport. We're going to go over to the inner page number two. We're going to get zero fuel weights. And a block of fuel, which is in today's flight. Actually, we've got 7.7 .7 liters of gallons of fuel. So I'm going to go down here and go 7.7. .7. That's just going to give us enough fuel to get there. That is good to go. We go now over to our performance page. We're going to insert our V1 speeds, VR speeds, and V2 speeds. We're going to insert them. We've got 12 minutes left until we have to depart, which is fine. Flap, uh, flaps temperature, we're going to go uh, flaps 1 today with a up 0.01 for our trim. Flex temperature, always go to 45. It's a nice um, it's a nice number. It's a nice round number. Uh, flex, basically what that does is it's a reduced thrust takeoff, if that makes sense. So you're using less power to take off, preserving your fuel. Oh yeah, so it's more efficient. I'm going to go over to our flight plan. As you can see, taking off of uh, runway 1, all of that is pretty good there. And then we're landing on runway, uh, I believe, I think it's 2-1, two, 2-7, two, two right? I think it is. Oh, God, I zoomed in. Hello. Uh, so we're going to be going in at our arrival on ILS uh, runway 2-7, right? Go ahead, select that. And we're using the client 3 arrival. So we're going to find that. The client three, there it is. We select that. Uh, are we going to friends? No, but not. So there's no vias. So we click no vias. Transition is that uh, Corsa? Corsa. You see this? Let's do the Corsa transition. We click insert. So now as you can see, we're coming down as normal. Friends. Probably two seven right. And that's pretty good. On behalf of the cabin crew, oh I'd gosh, like she was loud. Sure Alright, so we can go ahead and we can check. We've got flight directors. We'll turn the flight directors on as well. Uh, we don't have any ATC. No, we don't. 
If you're in an emergency exit row, please the guardian. exit seating responsibilities in the car in the seatback. Classic. Okay, so our arrival airport, there is a, a active traffic, air traffic and tower, which is good. So we've got that. So we're going to con contact them on approach. The boarding process, but we do ask that laptops, tablets, and any so other gain, we're going to go up to like 80,000 feet. Once we depart from the gate. Thank you and welcome aboard. Uh, we're ready to go when you are. All right, they're good to go. So, all right, they are good to go, which is fantastic. We can go ahead and turn off our external power. Our APU is fired up. We're going to come over here, and we're going to go over to the ground power here. We're going to turn off. Uh, external power can come off. Passion the doors and all that can close, which is fantastic. Beacon light is on. Everything else is on. We're pretty much good to go. We're now departing out of runway one. I'm not even sure where that is right now. So we're going to go ahead and try and see if I can locate that. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight that is actually 1835. Behind us, I think. Detroit. Our flight time will be roughly one hour. Please note the cabin door is now closed. We ask that you make sure that all devices are in airplane yeah, it's pretty mode much and the larger devices there. are now shut Ooh. down all right. and stowed. Going from if here, we can go ahead already, and get the pushback tug. Cockpit to ground. Cabin go ahead, flight tug. We are ready for pushback and engine start. Roger, release the parking brakes, please. Alright, we're going to flick off our parking, parking brakes there. Released. Parking brakes Push are coming off. The tug is going to hook up to the aircraft. We're going to wait for the tug to connect. Not sure what we're waiting for right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, push back. All right, we're pushing back now. That's fantastic. Okay, we're pushing back now. We're gonna position the aircraft into a position that we want it to be. I believe we want it to be going left. You are down. clear behind, and you can start your engines at your discretion. Right, I'm gonna fire up engines number one. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your complete attention to the flight attendants as they demonstrate the safety features of our aircraft. You will notice a light illuminated above your seat. When this light is illuminated, please fasten your engine one is boiling up now. We have to make sure that our APU blade is turned on, obviously. Low. I didn't have that selected. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience unexpected Go and straighten ourselves up a bit there. There are several there. emergency exits on this aircraft. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest exit. In some cases, your nearest exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor level lighting will guide you towards the exit. I'm gonna go spin around to the left here. An oxygen mask will drop in front of you. To start the flow of oxygen, pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth, secure the elastic band behind your head, tighten the straps if necessary, and breathe normally. Although the bag does not inflate, oxygen is flowing to the We can mask. go with that. If you're traveling with a child, the engine or someone two goes to norm position. Uh, it says available. Got a pilot. Pilot parking brake here. Push back complete. Set parking brakes, please. Parking brakes set. Parking set. Roger. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected and the equipment is clear. Is that, uh, we will see number two. Side with the pin. Thanks, and you can disconnect and go to hand signals. Taxi lights coming on. Have a good flight. See you later. Waiting for the engines to spool up here. If engine one is available now. We're going to go ahead and arm our speed brakes. That's we're going to set to one. We're going to go ahead and go flat. Uh, get our trim here up one. Check. Set these over as well. Perfect. That is good. Engine two is still spotting up. We're waiting for that now. So we're going to 18,000 feet as our uh, transitional altitude. Disabling or destroying the smoke detectors located in the laboratories is prohibited by law. All of this information. We're going to go to attack takeoff configuration. Check that engine. Uh, I'm going to go all the brakes at the max. We're good to go there. We need the engine two to spool up. We got to about uh, one minute for departure, so we're going to really going to be pushing it now. Engine brakes like this back to normal. We're going to go ahead and release our parking brakes in a second. We just have to do a check on our flight gear. APU can now come off. APU bleed can come off as well. We're going to do a full left rudder. Check. Full right rudder. Check. Pitch down. Check. Pitch up. Check. Full left. Check. Full right. Check. I'm going to go ahead and apply a bit of power here. Release the parking brake. And we're going to apply a little bit of power. 
And we're going to taxi our way over to runway 1. Jules Ground uh, United Airlines 1835 request taxi to runway 1 departure. United 1835 Dallas Ground, Squawk 5601, please. Squawk 5601, United 1835. Okay, United 1835, what runway would you like for departure? United 1835, request uh, 01, uh, runway. 01, left, center, or right? Uh, zero one left, please. 19, United 1835, taxi straight ahead, cross from one center, continue on whiskey three, hold short of one, one left. Continue on whiskey, hold short, zero one left, United 1835. Alright, we're going to continue on towards Whiskey, which is uh, in front of us here, and we're going to make our way over there. We do have ground, which is pretty cool. What the fuck is that? We're about to cross an active runway, so we're going to hold short here. I turn on our uh, strobe lights. Ring lights are coming on. Why we turn the flights are going to come on? Clear to cross runway one center. Continue on whiskey three. Clear to cross cross one uh, center. Continuing on uh, whiskey three. United 1835. Clear to cross runway one center. Alright, we're clear to cross one center. Um, I'm not good with all my fucking call signs and stuff, but that's fine. We're gonna clear to cross. Uh, we're about three minutes delayed, but that's okay. Um, then onto Whiskey 3, which should be in front of us here, I believe. Monitor traffic advisory, one, two, two, point, have a great flight, have a great rest of your day. Alright, we are coming up to one left, we're going to go ahead and put that score code on. To active. We're going to go ahead and set our runway turn off lights on. Only lights are coming on, lights are going to set to take off. Strobe lights are coming on. Everything else is set and configured. We're going to come down here and go to our chrono. We're going to select our chrono and we're going to set our... Um, our clock and our terrain ND is coming on as well. We're going to go ahead and roll our way out to the runway here. On the doing traffic, we're clear left. And we are clear right. Go back to arc mode there. There's no tower, uh, there's only ground, so I'm assuming he's giving us clearance for de departure, so. Alright, we are holding short on one left, on uh, zero one left. We're going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves up to N1. We're going to go up to uh, Flex 45. B, N1 speeds. We're going to pitch ourselves down 5 degrees. Maintain the center line. Air speeds are alive. Eddie knots. Cross check. Continuing. Neutral at 100. V1. Rotate. At uh, 10 degrees. Positive rate of climb. Gears coming up. Pitch ourselves down. They're going to be maintaining about uh, 10 degrees at this time. Wait till we get to our SBs. We retract flaps. It's a pretty much a very easy flight uh, straight out approach, which is pretty good. Uh, departure, sorry. SBs retract. Get back to our climb speeds. We're going to engage our autopilot here. Going up to 18,000 feet. Oh, we'll go up to 20,000 actually. Turn off, uh, when we turn off lights, laser lights can come off. Wing lights can come off as well. 
And we are on our way out of here. Pretty straightforward. We can now uh, retract our speed spoil our uh, ground spoilers can come off as well. We can turn off our NDs at the, for the time being for our terrain. But there's no there's not much terrain on our departure here, which is good, so that's pretty nice. And we're on our way out of here. to a throttle climb we are sending up we'll keep our constraints on for the time being as you can see here wants us to be above 2250 and we're passing that right now and uh, yeah we're looking pretty good at the moment We need to get our Q and H as well. We're gonna go to Two nine on our departure uh, for our Q and H there. We're passing through about uh, nine thousand five hundred. It's going to be a very short approach uh, flight. Passing ten thousand. We're going to go ahead and turn off our takeoff. Uh, we can turn off our uh, uh, takeoff lights. We can remain on when lights can come off, all of that is fine. We are happy with how that's at, at the moment. The anti ice detected, we we'll go ahead and turn on our anti ice. About uh, 48 minutes till we arrive at our destination, so the time being we're just going to continue on with the heading because strands can come off. And uh, how beautiful is this departure? Absolutely beautiful. It looks very snowy on the aircraft. It's just due to Microsoft Flight Sims, uh, and it's just how it generates the ice and stuff. It's not going to have any bearing on the aircraft. Uh, it's just part of the texture. So unfortunately, that's just what it is that we have to deal with. So it is what it is. Passing through sixteen thousand. We can go ahead and send up to thirty-two thousand feet. Everything at the moment is looking fine. Flaps are attracted, ground spoilers are attracted, and everything else is fine. We're scoring 5601. And uh, we're just on a journey now to our arrival airport at Detroit Metropolitan Wayne County Airport. Continuing up to 26,000 feet, uh, very close up to our cruise altitude. And we're only got about 42 minutes left. Uh, it's a very, with the, with the flight like this, you wanna be prepared and be on top of your arrival. The worst thing to do is not be to be underprepared and get there to your destination and not, not know what you're trying to achieve and what to do. Uh, so what I recommend doing is way before is getting your arrival airport's information. Uh, so you go over to your performance page. I'm going to go across with the arrow here and we're going to come over to here to this other screen here. Okay, next phase. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Q the approach phase and get our Q and H and all of that information. Point one two five. So when I come down here, we're going to go one one eight point eight two five. Oh one two five. 
Give me one one eight point one two five. We might be a bit too far out to g grab their ATIS information. Current temperature is 16.7, uh, but their QNH is what we want, which is 30.33. So we go 30.33. Uh, their temperature is going to be 16.7. Magnitude winds are 300. 300 by 6. We're going to pop that in here. Transitional altitudes of 18,000 feet, since we are in America. And that is it. That's all we need to do. We've got that inserted, and we have all our information for our arrival airport. Screen 2 on left, that's going to be our Detroit arrival airport. Detroit County Airport, Bay of Information, Uniform 1353 Zulu. West 310 at 5. Visibility 10. Sky clear below 12,000. Temperature 17. 2.2. Altimeter 3033. Visual runway 21 left. 22 right approach in U. Department runway 21 right. North of two airmen. VFR air transfer direction of flight. We're getting operations ascent to one two thousand feet. This is just getting us prepared for ILS uh, of one to left. Oh, one. Uh oh, really? Uh, Captain Crooner. 1835. I have you on my scope now. Uh, are you planning for Cabo for your initial approach fix? Not 1835 affirmative. Yeah, 1835 Roger, proceed direct Cabo. Resume direct Cabo, 1835. You know, 1835, I'm showing you a little high for that uh, 6,000 foot. Do you need to turn to lead off some altitude there? You know, 1835 received, and uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, 1835 Roger, turn right heading 050. 050, 1835. Alright, we're a little bit high, so we're going to be turning on to 050. Going 050, we're just uh, reducing some altitude here, just so that we can continue our descent. Uh, I knew I was coming in a bit high, and obviously I wanted to get some clearance to descend, um, rather than just descend and be unauthorized to descend. So we're just gaining some uh, altitude, uh, reducing some altitude, rather, um, just so that we're not coming in on the runway too high, if that makes sense. So air traffic control is going to be with us all the way through now. We're just going to be descending down a little bit further, just so that uh, we're not coming out at the runway too high. That's what happened last time and I fucked it up, so... We're going to uh, zero 050. Zero. We've gained some uh, reduction in the altitude here, but uh, we should be landing uh, in a bit of a delay, probably about uh, 5 to uh, 10 minutes max. What? Connor? Hello? Oh shit, I'm still in fucking... This is... This is awkward as fuck. Am I still in TeamSpeak on Discord? Yes! Holy shit, this is embarrassing as fuck. At 1835, turn right heading 150. 150, United 1835. United 1835, turn right heading 210. Right heading 210, United 1835. I'm going to go into 210. United 1835, reduce speed 230 knots. 230 knots, United 1835. I'm going to go down to 230 knots. We're going to add a bit of uh, ground spoilers here, just to help. 230, turn right, 
And we're good with the speed brakes. About 6,000. 35, you said maintain 5,000. 5,000, United, 1835. I'm going to apply some spoilers here just to keep us in that speed reduction. I have six miles from Tigers, turn left heading 230, maintain 5000 until established on the localizer, clear the ILS runway 21 left to foot. Left turn 230, maintaining 5000, uh, clear direct to the ILS 21 left, United 1835. We are going to go ahead and put our approach phasing. Confirm that. Direct to Tiger. Metro Tower, Delta 9, 32 heavy, ready to go at 2 1 right at Mike 6. United 1835, you can start your descent if you're coming in a little high. Okay, United 1835. Stay out, Steve. Passing through 1200, Delta 9, 32. Delta 932, Roger, radar contact. United 1835, winds 3004, runway 21 left, clear to land, caution wake turbulence at departing E330. Clear to land, 21 left, United 1835. That's That's full. Space to the southwest. Radar services turn in frequency change of over your foot. Change alert, Delta 932. Thanks for your help. I locked onto the glass lip. Minimums. 2,400. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the arrival into. Oh, airport. How good is this? This is amazing. The runway field is inside. When we get the 500 feet, we take water pilot. Check our power piece here. I have the lights inside you. It's still a bit far out for that. I uh, have visual of the puppies. Wait, looking very good. Man, this is amazing. Oh, fuck. I just realized my landing gear's not down. I just realized my landing gear's not down. Holy fuck. <laughs> Awkward as fuck. When the landing gear's not down. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> you took our oh god. We're very rotating. I hate when it does that. Alright. 
Manual control. Speed remains 565, Metro 10, we got you 5 by 5 Oh, the pod's engaged. Oh, lots of winds. Straighten ourselves up on the center line. Spirit wings 565, requesting IFR clearance down to Atlanta. A little bit low. That's better. Spirit wings 565, we got your clearance, ready to copy. 500, minimum. Ready to copy, uh, Spirit wings 565. Spirit Wings 565, you're cleared to the Atlanta International Airport via the Calvin 2 departure. Stacy transition to the high. Coming down. Sit, expect 400. Three, four, zero, Landing. One, zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is Unicom. So a bit high. 300. 300. Spirit Wings 565, clear to Atlanta by the Kelvin 2 departure with the stage transition then as file, climb by the SID. Expect flight level 340, squawk 4172. Spirit Wings 565, stop. Speed brakes, 80 knots. Spirit Wings 565, Rebeck is correct. Push the start will be at your discretion. I expect runway 21 right for departure. Call me for taxi. Expect 21 right for departure. Uh, push back to the start my discretion. Spirit Wings 565, thank you. And United 1835, welcome to Detroit. Uh, you're parking at the north or south terminal today? United 1835, uh, northern terminals. At 1835. Roger, can you vacate at Juliet there or did you pass Juliet? Looks like you passed Juliet. Go ahead and vacate at Tango to the right. Tango to the right, United 1835. Welcome to Detroit. The local time is 11.40 a.m. and it's currently about 66 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the vehicle is turned off. Tango Remember to use caution when opening the overhead bins as items may tonight. have been shifted during the flight. If this is your final destination, we thank you for flying with us. If you're making a connection, we encourage you to check your itinerary to ensure a smooth continuation of your Next journey. To the ramp by we apologize Tango for the delay. Please coordinate with airline staff as necessary regarding connecting flights or accommodations. the aircraft up a bit here. And on our if you Tango Kilo. Let's pull up the APU. Three brakes retracted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Detroit. We made it to Detroit. Very excited. Uh, very successful landing as well. We had a frame drop at the end there, but 
nonetheless, it is a okay. I'll find a, a spot in here. What have we got? Go ahead and take this one. There's a Neo there. We can go next to this frontier, I guess. Might as well. Playing chicken with this car. You're gonna cut in front of me, you motherfucker. Yes, you are. You're gonna cut in front of me. Good. Much appreciate it. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Uh, we'll take one of these empty spots here. This will do it. Um, we'll go next to this frontier, I guess. Oh, there's a virgin down there. Holy shit, there is two. Uh, we're going to go next to these aircrafts here, I guess. We'll just go in here. This will work. We'll take this one. We'll go ahead and turn off our lights off to off taxi. We'll just take this one here. Might as well. Why not? Why not? Let's say zero one. What's that? We'll go in here. It will work for us. All right. Perfect. We're going to set our parking brakes. Parking brakes are set. Cool, cool, cool. Come down to the left here and we'll get our external power. Got off uh, engines one and two. External power coming on. We're going to get the uh, infamous uh, log report here. We're going to continue. It's a 12 minute delay, they're not really happy because of the delay, but I mean, it is what the external power coming on there. Beacon lights can come off. Steel signs can come off. Emergency lights can come off there as well. Fuel pumps can come off. Cruise supply can come off. ADARs can go back to the off positions. Everything gets switched off there. We can dim all these lights. That's already off. Ecam displays can come off. Beautiful. Dim the displays on the uh, MacDo. On approach for runway two seven uh, right. Turn off our instruments here. Uh, Spirit Wings five seventy five Metro Tower. Hello. Uh, Runway two one left will be your uh, advertised arrival runway. The two seven right is closed. And now uh, we yeah, can disconnect. Two one right. Disconnect from that sim, and we can go and shut the remainder of the aircraft down here. Turn off a PFD displayers; they can come off. They are deboarding. We haven't even got the. I don't know how they're deboarding when it is not even connected, when the jetway is not even connected to the aircraft. But they are doing what they want to do, so. I don't even know how that's possible. But we are here at Denver. Ah, uh, Denver. We are here at uh, Detroit. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to wrap it up for this uh, episode of a Microsoft Flight Simulator. We can shut off our APU. We can shut off the external power. Shut it all down. Anyway, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll go ahead and uh, get back out here in the A320NX, A321NX later on. And you can do some other flying as well. 
And why is that rear door open when there's nothing even connected to it? Okay, that's just good. But anyway, we're going to jump. <laughs> we're going to finish it up there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Oh, <laughs>